Hello and welcome back to my garden. Today I will be sowing my seeds for my autumn and winter garden. Uh, if you remember, I, I posted a video on my no dig bed for my potatoes. Well, it worked so well for my potatoes, I decided to build three more in front of my raised beds here. Um, I'm going to sow a lot of my um, vegetables that grow above ground, so that way will happen the root system will spread out versus going down because I have clay soil and as you can see my soil it's very very compact so a lot of the roots won't be able to penetrate into the dirt into the ground so the roots will have to grow above ground so this is perfect for my no dead garden and basically what I did is I laid down some cardboard and I uh, did some uh, sheet mulching and then on top I put my, um, I used a raised bed potting soil mix and then I, um, I did a border with some, you know, wood that I just happened to find laying around the property. And what I'm going to do is with this uh, season, I'm going to use a neem, neem seed mill. And this one is by Neem Bliss. I got this off of Amazon and I'll actually put a link for this particular one that I purchased. And by you purchasing through my link, it'll actually help support the channel so I can make you guys more videos. But I'm going to use this because this will help me with any pest control. I'm going to use this for that as well because a lot of uh, the seeds that I sowed for the spring uh, summer uh, garden, I, I lost a lot of my plants to, you know, pests that live in the soil. So this uh, neem neem seed meal here it should help me with that issue because I use the neem oil uh, spray for my plants uh, for my you know leaf plants but I figure it worked so well when I used it that I would buy the seed meal uh, to use in my um, in my potting mix here where in my raised bed mix so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take just i guess about a cup of this i'm not gonna like do a exact measurement i'm just gonna kind of throw it out as i see it but it does have directions here um it says apply 30 pounds per 1000 square feet so and then you want to mix this into the top six inches of the soil so you don't want to mix it too deep in you just want to mix it in towards the top so this will be perfect for my no dig beds we could just mix it all in and it'll be perfect um, so let's get started so i'm just going to take a little bit of this and then i'm not wearing any gloves because this should be kind of easy for me to do. So I'm just going to sprinkle it on top here, as you can see. And I'm going to do this for all of my... Okay, so now that I've worked my neem seed mill into the soil, I'm going to go ahead and start sowing my seeds. And I'll show you the seeds that I'm sowing. Um, all of the seeds I'm sowing are, you know, are plants or vegetables that can grow in a you know a little bit colder climate so I live here in Atlanta Georgia and our uh, my zone is 7b to 8a so I have mild uh, winters here so I'm hoping and I believe that you know I'm gonna have a pretty good harvest uh, for this uh, autumn and winter season so the um, the first thing I'm going to sow, so I'm going to have three different types of beets in this bed. Uh, and the ones I'm going to sow, I'm going to do two rows of each of the three. So I'm going to have six rows total here. And the thing with beets, you can actually grow them a little bit closer together because they just swell at the top. 
and what you do is the larger beet you just kind of thin them out like you would carrots so that way you know they can continue to grow and swell but um, this first row here we'll be doing colorful beets in the first row in the second row I'll be doing juniper beets see that in the third two rows I will be doing tall top early wander beads okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slightly just level this off so I'm not gonna be too uh, I'm not gonna like do any perfect measurements because I, I don't think that'll really matter too much here but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna I've already labeled the rows uh, that I'm going to have. So I'm just going to take this, just do a little line down the middle here. And just do a little, because your, your seats, you don't need them so far into the soil to sew them. So I'm just going to take this, my little hand trowel here and just do a little line. All right. All right. So now that I have my lines drawn, I have two lines here, two lines here, and two lines there. So now I'm going to take my seeds and then I'm just going to sprinkle them in. Not all of them will germinate and grow, but I'm just going to sprinkle them in and the ones that want to grow, that those are the ones that will. So I'm just going to do about two or three in each little section here. Pull up pretty good at the top. Come in here, just sprinkle them in. And here I have my tall top early wonders. In my second no dig bed, I will be sowing snowball cauliflower seeds. And here I'm gonna do two rows of the uh, cauliflower seeds. And this half of the bed, I'm gonna leave empty for now because I'm going to plant uh, sweet onion uh, food scraps here. Um, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to the grocery store and I'm gonna buy like maybe six uh, sweet onions and then I'm gonna cut off the part where the roots are growing and then uh, plant those here. And I'll do another video showing how, how I do a food scrap planting. Um, a lot of my other food scraps that I planted and began to grow I had pests that just devoured them so um, I believe using the neem meal uh, that will help with that problem because I would bury them but something would come in and just dissolve them like what happened with my garlic bulbs but um, let's go ahead and get started so I'm all I'm gonna do is just take this and just kind of level it off I mean it doesn't have to be perfect and you have to remember that I'm kind of on a slope here so it's going to look a little uneven and then the soil will kind of move around a little bit but I'm going to use a pine straw mulch on top of my uh, seed sowings and that should you know help with that issue a little bit but all I'm going to do is just take my hand trowel here and just create a little line and it doesn't have to be really deep, you know, because I'm going to mulch it with pine straw. So I'm just going to do two lines here. They look kind of big, but I guess that's okay. And then I'll just kind of, it won't be perfect, but it doesn't have to be. Just going to kind of create a little line here. 
and you want to give them some room to grow so I think I'm gonna spread this out a little bit more maybe do it more like here because cauliflower plants they do grow kind of big and they do need room so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that just kind of make a little line here So now that I have sowed my seeds, I'm just going to take my little hand trowel here and just lightly just kind of toss the dirt over where I sowed the seeds. Just lightly. You don't want to pack it down because you want the seeds to be able to penetrate through. So I'm just going to do that like that. Okay, so now we are at my third and final uh, no-dig raised bed for my vegetables. And in this bed, I am going to do the red Russian kale. And then here I will do the red acre cabbage. Now, I what I'm doing with my um, no-dig beds is I'm doing a direct sowing and I'm just going to put out extra seeds in each of the rows and that way whatever germinates and grow grows whatever doesn't doesn't um, I have a better chance of you know having my seeds germinate by doing it this way um, I remember when I used to volunteer at our garden club here in my neighborhood the uh, <laughs> the uh, president of the garden club there were times where he would just take seats and throw them out in a raised bed and then <laughs> just whatever grew grew and by him doing that we actually had those seeds that he just threw out to do better than the ones that we you know were so careful with and tried to plant you know so it, it shows you that you know whenever you give so much care to something a lot of times it doesn't work out and the things that you just kind of let do their own thing they they tend to thrive for some reason I mean, I don't get it, but um, this autumn and winter season, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use just regular raised bed soil, um, and I'm just going to direct sow them and just let them go. I'm not going to be too careful or cautious with them because a lot of my uh, seeds that I sowed for my spring and summer the ones that I care for, I use, you know, the special um, uh, seed soil mixtures and I spent so much money and a lot of those seeds didn't germinate. So, I mean, to save some money and to save some time, I'm going to do it this way and see if it works. I mean, that's the thing with gardening. It's an experiment. And if you can find ways to like save you some time and save you some money, hey, do it. So what I'm going to do is for my uh, cabbage, I'm going to just do one row of those because cabbage, it grows, but it also spreads out pretty big. So, you know, with my no dig beds not being as big as my raised beds here, I don't have a lot of room to like grow things too tight, especially things that grow really big. And for my kale, I think I'm just going to do uh, one row of that as well because those, they grow up pretty tall and, you know, to give everything some room to really spread out. Um, so all I'm going to do is, um, like I did with my other beds, I'm just going to take my hand trowel here and I'm just going to make a little line, nothing special. So I'm just going to try, you know, sowing my seeds this way and see if it works. You know, I know a lot of people, they like to see you do everything so perfect and neatly, but that that's not really the reality of, of gardening. I've, I've watched my 
my grandparents and my parents do their gardening and you know after a while you know when you first start something you want it to be perfect but after a while it's like honey throw them seeds out there and let it grow so that's what we're gonna do here I'm just gonna throw these seeds I'm not throwing them now I'm not just gonna throw them out here I'm actually gonna you know take some care but I'm not gonna be so meticulous about it because I don't I don't think it's really necessary so I'm just gonna open these up and then I'm gonna sow my seeds Okay, so now I am going to mulch with my pine straw. So now that I've sold my seeds and lightly, you know, uh, placed the dirt over, I am going to do this. Um, so for my autumn and winter, I am doing a pine straw mulch because with it being cooler, I think they do need a little bit more protection. And with the... Uh, transitioning weather from summer to autumn we've been getting a lot of rain and I have a lot of uh, trees so I get a lot of leaves and a lot of limbs and a lot of wind and a lot of rain and being on the slope I want to make sure that my seeds and my soil stays in place and also I think it provides a little bit of warmth as well from the cooler weather and another reason I'm using the pine straw is because as you see the needles here, they're very thin. So my seeds, they'll have a better chance uh, when they germinate for the, um, for the plants to actually grow and be able to weave through the pine straw because it's, it's you know, very slim, very needle-like. So, and I'm not going to do a thick layer, I'm just going to do a light layer of the pine straw like this and just kind of sprinkle it so this will help keep your seeds in place and it'll also keep it from uh, birds and things like that so when your plants are starting to emerge you know the birds you know they may leave them alone um, I wouldn't use any kind of heavy wood mulch, like wood chips or anything like that, because um, you can have snails hide underneath the wood, and also you can uh, block your plants from being able to penetrate through the ground, you know, as they search for sunlight. So I'm just going to lightly sprinkle and I'm not going to pack it. I'm going to sprinkle it over so that way, you know, it'll still get some oxygen through and it's not packed too tightly here. So and I did the same thing with my uh, potato no dig beds and, you know, it worked very well for those. So I believe it's going to work well for these as well so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and just finish uh, mulching pine straw mulching the rest of my beds and then I'm gonna give it a nice water and we'll be done and all we have to do is sit back you know do a little bit of watering maybe a little bit of organic fertilizer and sit back and just watch and see what happens So now that I am done with my pine straw mulching, I'm going to give each of my no dig beds a good watering here. And then I'm just going to sit back and wait and watch and see what happens. But I'm very, very confident that I'm going to get a really nice autumn and winter harvest out of this seed sowing here. 
Well, thank you again for joining me on my channel here. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe down below. It's down there. Um, liking the video and subscribing, it really does help. And uh, it helps me to make more videos. What also will help me uh, make more videos and support the channel is to go over to my Amazon page. The link is in the description. And by reading my book, I'm also a writer, it'll help support me as well. Well, thank you again for joining me. I'll see you guys later. Bye.